Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of Creative Corner. In this video we will build a picture frame using a technique that I've never uh, tried before. Um, we are burning the picture frame after uh, the um, assembling and then we are um, adding some color using a dark stain. I never tried this technique and so I was curious because I've seen it uh, in another video and now I want to try it by myself. I'm making this picture frame because uh, soon I will take part to uh, an exhibition together with other artists in the city where I live and I wanted to bring something new, uh, not always the same picture frame that I already have in the box ready for uh, exhibitions. Um, I also wanted to print a photo to see how it looks uh, because this photo I, I've never printed until now. Um, I'm printing it on um, aluminium debon panel and for this panel I'm making again a picture frame. I have done already a frame for an aluminium debon print and I'm leaving you the um, link to the video in the info box in this video. But this time will be a different frame, so I thought about filming uh, the entire process again. I hope you enjoyed, and now let's move to the space where I have the tools and let's start to build the frame. Then we're coming back here and having a look together. The photo has a dimension of 60 by 40 centimeters, and for this frame, I will use rectangular strips made of pine that I've bought at the DIY shop. The first step I did was to create a recess for the back of the frame, which will hold the aluminium debon panel. To do this, I have used a straight bit to remove some material in several passes, each time rising up the router bit of some millimeters. In the next step, I've put a 45 degrees chamfer bit into the router and I've started to create the inside profile of the frame. Now it's time to start to cut the molding to the final size. First of all, I've cut a 45 degrees corner. After marking the point where I need to cut the molding, I went to the miter saw and I have then cut the two opposite sides together because they must have the exact same size. I've cut the moldings slightly larger, so the aluminium panel will have a bit of space for when I need to put it in the frame. Now it's time to put the pieces of the frame together. First, I have applied some glue to the corners and then, with the help of a band clamp, the corners will have some pressure while the glue dries. I let the glue dry for a complete day and then I've removed the band clamp. Because this picture frame is bigger, I've decided to reinforce the corners with wooden dowels. I've put on a Forstner bit a piece of painter's tape, so I see when I need to stop drilling, and I've also put some painter's tape on the corners of the picture frame. So if there will be some glue excess, it will go on the tape and it will be easier to remove. I've made the holes at each corner of the frame and then I've cut some wooden dowels leaving them a bit longer so I can cut them flush later. I've put some wood glue into the holes and onto the dowels and then with a clamp I've pressed the dowels in the frame and I let the glue dry for another complete day. Now it's time to cut the excess of the wooden dowel. Before cutting them, I've applied more painter's tape on the frame, so the teeth of the saw won't damage it. With a flush cut trim saw, I have then cut all the dowels and I've removed the tape. I have then sanded the frame to have a smooth surface before proceeding with the next step. Now the frame is ready to be burned. My intention is to darken the fibers of the wood to accentuate them, so when I will apply the stain they will look darker than normal. 
With a propane wick burner torch, I've slowly burned the frame until I've reached a desired effect, taking care of not overdoing. I let the frame cooling down and then I've applied a dark walnut stain on all the sides, letting the stain cure for some minutes and then I've removed the excess with a piece of cloth. When the stain was dry, I could start to apply the clear lacquer to give the frame some protection. I choose a transparent metal lacquer and I will apply two coats with a light sanding in between. Now the frame is nearly finished. I've cut small pieces of double sided adhesive tape and I've applied them to the sawtool picture hangers so they won't move when I screw them to the frame and in order to place them at the same distance from the top, I've used a jig. Finally, it's time for the last step, placing the aludibon into the frame. I've put the photo facing down and then with a point driver, I've put some points to hold the panel in position. And here we are with the finished picture frame. Now that I see it finished, I must say that I like it. I was not sure, but um, now when I see it with the printed photo inside the frame, I like the combination. I think that the darker stripes on the picture frame are complementing quite well with the stripes in the photo uh, with the um, trees created uh, with the ICM technique and um, I think uh, the frame worked quite well combined with the picture inside. Overall I think uh, is a good combination between photo and frame. Uh, the frame is not um, let's say taking attention away too much from the picture, that is the main focus of course, should be the main focus, the picture, but is complementing well the, the image. Uh, this I, I think uh, works quite well. Let me know what you think about it in the comment, uh, I'm quite curious and um, as usual, thanks for watching, stay well and see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you.